This game I played as a sniper and I used the L1A1 SLR. I attached the bipod, then the C79 scope. I detached the suppressor from the secondary and equipped one to the primary. I switched the secondary to the Makarov. Lastly, I equipped the chest carrier. The game was Strike on Pange. This is my uh, first impressions video of Insurgency, which is a very, very good game. I am definitely impressed by it, that's for sure. Uh, this was my first time I ever actually played on the, as this team on this map, and it, I was yeah, it was definitely brilliant to play as, and I, f I found this map to be very balanced between snipers and the full autos. The gameplay on Insurgency is excellent and is well balanced. You have to get to cover and use the map wisely as the gun damage is a lot higher than other games such as Call of Duties and Battlefields as most guns are 1 to 3 shots to kill. Uh, the headshots are always a kill as well which is brilliant, it's something you don't always see. And the game plays a lot better when working as a team and playing with friends but also works very well when playing solo. The recoil on this game is brilliant, uh, you cannot you cannot just spray uh, someone, you have to fight the gun to keep it down. The teams in this game are made up uh, from two squads. These squads are 8 players each, making a total of 32 players in a game. Each team has their own guns, and in each squad they have their own roles, which include different guns such as snipers, and you have uh, bombers, um, rocketeers, and so on. The game's graphics look great and the effects are just awesome. When looking down the uh, scope the quality is brilliant and explosions look excellent as does all the effects such as the smoke. The sounds on this game are some of the best I have ever heard in a game. They are all sounding very realistic. The snaps from the bullets when you are shot and even the sound of the guns getting shot in the distance are just brilliant. And when getting shot, if you listen closely you can actually hear the gun getting shot and then the snap of the bullet flying past your head. Which the only other game I can think of that does that is Armour. Uh, Armour 2 and Armour 3 I think both do it. And the gun sounds when you are actually firing your own gun are very very well done. The majority of players on this game play as a team and give commands and also listen when giving commands. Like every other game, there are also players that do the complete opposite or that some that start uh, shouting abuse down the mic between rounds, much like on uh, Search and Destroy and Modern Warfare 2. The gear customization is very well made. Uh, the guns depend on which team and what role you are playing and the customization of the guns is very good. Uh, the gear costs points to equip, uh, so you, for example you get 10 points so you can use up to 10 points on your gun and your gear as you would have seen at the beginning of the game and when you remove a piece of equipment it gives you the points back. It is a very well done system. The uh, game hasn't got many flaws, uh, but the top one is definitely being how you can't climb objects and you can't jump onto rocks and uh, other objects as well as you should be able to, as you'll see as an example on the screen right now. Uh, to sum up this game, I would say Go Buy It is the best uh, first person shooter I've played in a very long time. Uh, it's just brilliant, there's a few bugs but I have a feeling they will be fixed over time and yeah, definitely go buy it.